Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard for the BTN HD, and today is all about the Panasonic Toughbook 55, which was released. Super excited about getting this laptop in the lab for you guys. I have eight modules that go with the Toughbook 55. We're going to unbox this guy first, and then we're going to do each individual module and see what's inside each box. So let's get started. All right, so what comes inside the box? Uh, we have a cloth to keep your laptop nice and clean. This little cord right here is for your pen. You, know, you wrap it around here, make sure it's nice and secure so you won't lose it. Let's put that to the side. We have a Panasonic Toughbook um, card, which they kind of give you a SIM card for Verizon, but you have to call Verizon to get it activated. So that's awesome. You have a first-time operation sheet, gives you the rundown, basically telling you that uh, make sure that the battery is up and running, uh, make sure you charge it before using it. And then you have your instruction manual, read me first, I'm definitely going to read this guy to make sure I know what I'm doing with this particular laptop. You have your power cable and you have your power brick, I'm going to plug this guy in and we're good to go. And last but not least, we have the Toughbook 55 from Panasonic. Pretty excited to get this laptop in the lab to test it out for you guys. Let's take this out of here. Look at that, beautiful. The way that Panasonic built this laptop is for you to customize it to fit your needs. Uh, again, I have eight modules that I'm gonna open up for you guys, so let's take a look at those. All right, so we just opened up eight modules, eight expansion packs for the Toughbook 55. So let's go over them. So first things first, we have a battery pack. Awesome, so that actually gives you two batteries if you insert this expansion pack. And it also comes with a nice little uh, instructions. Uh, next module is a smart card reader. Instructions are here, smart card reader here. How awesome is that? Pretty cool. Let's put that to the side. Again, a lot of toys to play around with on the Toughbook 55 from Panasonic. Uh, we have an RFID reader. Instructions are here. And the RFID reader here, awesome. The fourth module is a input-output uh, pack. Actually gives you a couple of ports, look at that. Cool. By default, the input and output expansion pack that the Toughbook 55 comes with it's the standard one that comes with, I think, with an Ethernet and a USB port. So, uh, and it comes with nice instructions and uh, some screws to screw it down. Next one in the list is uh, a graphics processor unit pack, a GPU pack. I wonder what kind of graphics card is this guy right here. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Nice. Next one in the list, we have a uh, solid state drive pack. Uh, by default, again, the Toughbook 55 comes with a solid state drive. I don't know the capacity. It doesn't look like it tells you the size of it. So I definitely need to plug it in and see uh, how big is it. And this is the instructions, cool. But next one in the list, we have, believe it or not, a DVD multi drive pack. Gives you the driver's CD to install it. Awesome. Put that to the side. And last but not least, we have a Blu-ray disc drive pack. Comes with the drive utility disc to install the drivers for it to work correctly. I'm assuming it might come with some software. Here goes the Blu-ray disc pack. Awesome, cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do is plug in the Toughbook 55 uh, give it some juice. Let's see if we can start it on and see how uh, it looks. Okay, so this is the beautiful Toughbook 55 from Panasonic. 
Looking around this machine, uh, yeah, there's a lot of ports and features on this guy. Uh, right here on the very top of the handle, LED indicators for your battery one and battery two. And uh, I don't, I think this is like your charge as well. By default, it only has like one battery. At the bottom, you're gonna see a lot of different compartments. This is where you unscrew and place your expansion packs. On this side right here, this is the other battery. And on this side, you can actually insert the second battery, or you could put the RFID, or you could actually insert the smart card reader inside this slot. It, it's really up to you. Awesome. This guy, this slot right here, is actually your solid state drive. Again, I don't know the size of it as of yet, but we're gonna turn it on and see. Oh, like how easy just to remove stuff for like your Blu-ray, your DVD, and your GPU pack. Uh, you can actually place it in here, in this slot right here. This is where you would put it. So let's put this right there. Awesome. This right here is your, uh, I'm assuming a 3.1 or 3.0 USB. You got your HDMI, and on the other side, you have uh, the Type-C, and maybe a 3.1, 3.0, and you have your Ethernet or RJ45. You got your micro SD card slot right here, and then you got your combo audio jack, which allows you to hook up a, a headphone or a headphone with a mic. Then you got your pen right here. Oh, very, very awesome. Super excited. Look at this. And then you got two other compartments right here. Uh, I don't know what these two compartments you can actually place. Maybe you could upgrade the CPU, memory probably. Uh, I'm assuming maybe memory and CPU or memory CPU. I'm definitely gonna open that up and see how it looks inside. And this is another location where you can insert an expansion pack. Now where is the power? Oh, okay, so the power is actually located right here, which is next to uh, the ethernet. And it's right here, cool, awesome. So we're actually gonna insert the power Right there. It looks like the LED indicator for battery one is lit up uh, Basically telling us it is charging or you know, it's up and running. So awesome. Let's open it up power it on and see what type of specifications it has Okay, so let's open up the tough book uh, 55 from Panasonic Loving the handle right there. Awesome uh, So let's lift this up open this guy up. Oof, nice Nice, nice, nice. First glance, I'm loving the design, super sturdy. At the very top of the display, it looks like they have this, uh, the shutter for privacy on the webcam. I think the webcam has an IR camera, so I have to check if I'm able to log in using Windows Hello. Cool, Let's slide this guy to the right. Cool, cool, cool. Power button is actually located at the very top. Right next to the power button, it looks like you have a lot of indicators for your caps your number lock, your hard drive, and for your SD card. I think that's for your SD card. Let's turn this guy on. Looks like the speakers are located on your left and your right right here. Touchpad looks pretty small for me, but uh, I like the fact that it actually gives you the left and right click indicator. That's a huge plus. I don't know if the keyboard is backlit, but a lot of functions on the keyboard. I definitely need to test this out. This is actually my first Panasonic Toughbook in the lab, so I'm pretty excited to test it out to see how it works out. I'm, I'm always doing like Lenovo stuff for you guys. So to actually have a different laptop in the lab to test out for you guys, I'm super excited. Uh, it looks like I need to configure a couple things with uh, Windows. And then uh, we will take a closer look on the specifications. All right, so I finally configured the laptop to uh, get into the Windows operating system. Uh, I did hear a little bit of noise at the back, but it's okay. I'm not going to freak out about that. Again, the display is touchscreen. Uh, I'm assuming it is full HD. Let's right click on the desktop, go to display settings, and the resolution again, full HD with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Um, the display size is about 14 inches. That's pretty cool. I want to see the specs, so let's right click on the taskbar, go to task manager, uh, go to more detail, go to performance, open this guy up, right click here, change the graph to logical processor. And we have eight logical processors, four cores, one socket. 
It is running an Intel Core i5-8365U processor with a clock speed of 1.60. That is really good. For memory, only have 8 gigs of memory. For hard drive space, it looks like we have around 256 gigs of solid state drive. And for the graphics card, it comes with the Ultra HD Graphics 620. Now, with the expansion pack that we got with the GPU, the solid state drive, the extra battery, I'm definitely going to insert all that stuff on the Toughbook 55 and see how, you know, how it gets upgraded. That'd be pretty cool. Because again, the Toughbook 55 is a type of laptop that is uh, for the consumer, for you to build it the way that you want it. So you could continue working flawlessly. Overall, I'm super excited to get the Panasonic Toughbook 55 in the lab. This is my first Toughbook reviewing for you guys. Make sure to hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.